I can't wait for our sleepover. It's going to be so much fun. I know. It's been way too long since we've had a girls' night in. Plus, I've been dying to hear more about you and Thunder. I don't even know where to begin. Thunder is just amazing, and I feel so lucky to be with him. I'm so happy for you. You two really do seem perfect for each other. Thanks. I was honestly a little nervous at first, but he's been so sweet and caring. I can tell he's head over heels for you. And you know what? I'm glad it didn't work out between Thunder and me. We just weren't compatible. And I can see now that you two are a much better match. Thank you for being such an amazing friend. I'm so lucky to have you in my life. You don't need to thank me. That's what friends are for. Besides, I'm sure I'll find someone who's right for me eventually. You definitely will. You're an incredible person, and anyone would be lucky to be with you. Hey ladies, how's it going? Oh hey, we didn't see you there. What's up? Yeah, what's with the grand entrance? Uh, well, I, uh, I I just wanted to, you know, come in and say hi. Hi, Wire. I, I um, think you're really, uh, cool. Oh, really? And what exactly do you find cool about me, Stray? Well, uh, you know, you're just um, really fun, and uh, you've got this uh, great personality. Oh, you're so sweet. But we were actually just talking about our girls-only sleepover, so... Yeah, sorry, Stray. Maybe some other time. Yeah, sure. Some other time. Oh, hey, Thunder. You got a minute? Oh, great. What's up, Stray? Need some more dating advice? Well, no, not exactly. I just had this really embarrassing moment with Mizuki and Highwire, and I could really use a friend right now. Alright, what happened? I was trying to flirt with Highwire, and I ended up embarrassing myself. I couldn't talk properly. It's like my whole body just wouldn't listen to me. You have to help me redeem myself. Come on, Stray. Get over it. It's not like you're the first guy to embarrass himself in front of a girl. Remember what happened to me? I actually bit Mizuki trying to kiss her for the first time. I know, but it still stings, you know? I thought you'd understand. Look, Stray, I just started dating Mizuki, and I really need to focus on not messing that up. I don't have time for your silly problems right now. Alright, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Sorry for bothering you. No, man, I'm sorry. It's just, I've got a lot on my plate right now. We'll talk later, okay? you here? I need someone to talk to, and Thunder's busy in work. I'm all ears. <laughs> oh, Stray, that's a classic. But don't worry, I've got an idea that might just help you redeem yourself. Really? What is it? You should totally crash their sleepover and play it cool. Show them that you're not just some bumbling goofball. I don't know, Peely. What if it backfires? Trust me, Stray. You'll make a great impression if you just relax and be yourself. Okay, but how do I even get into the sleepover? Leave that to me. I've got some tricks up my, uh, peel. This better work, Peely. Oh, it will. Just wait and see. All right, I'll give it a shot. But if this goes wrong, I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> Deal. Now let's get you ready for the ultimate sleepover crash. All right, here's the plan. I'll sneak into the house and open up a window for you. Then you can climb in and make your grand entrance. Are you sure this will work, Peely? Trust me, buddy. It's foolproof. All right, if you say so. Just remember to play it cool, Stray. You've got this. Thanks, Peely. I hope you're right. Stray? What are you doing here? Did you just climb through the window? 
Seriously, Stray, what's going on? Uh, well, you see, Peely and I wanted to join the sleepover. We thought it'd be fun. Really? A girl's sleepover, Stray? That's just weird. Yeah, why would you even think it's okay to crash a girl's sleepover like this? Uh, I didn't know it was a girl's only. I swear, I thought that there could be boys here too. So, where's Peely then? He, uh, he ran off and left me here. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I'm so sorry. Look, Stray, even if you didn't know it was a girl's only sleepover, you should have asked or checked with someone first. Yeah, it's not cool to just barge in like this. We need our space too. I understand, and I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to make you all uncomfortable. Hey guys, let's not be too hard on Stray. He must have misunderstood the situation. Well, that's obvious. But he shouldn't have come here in the first place. True, but now that he's here, let's treat him with kindness. It was an honest mistake, and he's already embarrassed enough. Okay, fine, but we still have to tease him a little, right? Of course, we can't let him off the hook that easily. Thank you, Gwen. I really didn't mean to make things weird. I'm sorry, guys. It's all right, Stray. Just try to communicate better next time. Yeah, and maybe work on your entrance too. That was a disaster. Now go on and find something else to do tonight, Stray. We'll catch up with you some other time. All right, I'll leave you girls to your sleepover. Have fun, and again, I'm so sorry. sleepover? I was so embarrassed. Oh, Stray, you should have seen your face. It was priceless. Yeah, we knew it was a girl's only sleepover, but we couldn't resist playing a prank on you. You guys set me up on purpose? How could you do that to me? It was just a harmless prank. Don't take it so seriously. Come on, lighten up. It was funny. You wanna play pranks? How about this for a prank? Stray, what the heck are you doing? You're wrecking our cars and our trailers. Have you lost your mind? Well, now you know how it feels to be pranked. You guys set me up, and now I'm just returning the favor. Are you serious? This is way out of line, Stray. Our prank was harmless. You're causing real damage here. Yeah, this is crossing the line. You need to cool down and think about what you're doing, bro. Oh, so now you care about how someone else feels. Where was that when you decided to embarrass me in front of the girls? You guys really hurt me tonight, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, uh, look, Stray, we're sorry. We didn't know you'd take it this hard. But destroying our cars is not the way to handle it. Yeah, we messed up. Let's just talk this out and find a way to make it right, okay? Thanks for the apology, but I think I'll pass. You two deserve a taste of your own medicine. Enjoy your new rides, guys. mess I've made. But Gwen, she was really nice to me, even when everyone else was laughing. Maybe Gwen secretly likes me. I can't just let this go. I need to find out for sure. I know it's risky, but if I can find out if Gwen likes me, it'll be worth it. I just need to be more careful this time. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm telling you, Gwen, all the boys on this island are jerks. There's not a single one worth our time. Well, there is one guy I've had my eye on. No way. Who is it? All right, I'll tell you. My crush is... Stray. 
Yes, I knew it. Gwen likes me too. What was that? I don't know, but it sounded like it came from outside. We should check it out. Stray, were you spying on us? I, I just wanted to know if you like me. I can't believe you, Stray. Any feelings I had for you are gone now. You violated our privacy. That's not okay. I told you, Gwen, all the boys on this island are jerks. I'm sorry, Gwen. I didn't mean to hurt you. I, I just, I thought that maybe... You thought wrong, Stray. It's over. Just leave us alone. Why do I always mess everything up? Gwen finally liked me and I ruined it. I just wanted to be close to someone. To have someone who truly cared about me. But I messed it up again. Well, maybe I should have just been honest from the start. Maybe she would have given me a chance if I hadn't acted like such a creep. Guess I'll never know now. I've lost her for good. It's all my fault. How are you feeling about all this? Honestly, I'm really hurt. I thought Stray was different, but he crossed a line tonight. Yeah, I get that. But do you think there's any chance you could ever forgive him? I don't know. Maybe with time, and if he genuinely apologizes. It's okay to feel hurt, Gwen. Just remember that people can change, and maybe Stray will grow from this experience. I hope so. He's not all bad. I really did like him before all this happened. Found you. Please don't shoot. I have a family. <laughs> I don't care. Say your goodbyes, girl. <laughs> Shouldn't have touched her. Aaron, thank you. You're welcome. I'm just glad I got here in time. I'm hurt. We need to get out of here. Let's go. We'll get you patched up and find the others. Aaron, are you paying attention? We need to make sure everyone is on the same page. Aaron, is everything all right? You've been acting a little distant lately. Yeah, I'm fine. Just a lot on my mind. Sorry. What's going on with him? All right, let's focus. We need to plan this mission carefully. Aaron, we're counting on you to be at your best. Something is up with Aaron. I'll follow him and figure out what's happening. We need to know before the mission. I'd see him with someone else. I didn't even realize I had feelings for him until now. But it's too late. I have to accept it. It all makes sense now why he is so distracted all the time. I just can't stop thinking about you. Even during our squad meetings, you're all I could think about. I feel the same way. It's like every time we're apart, I'm counting down the minutes until we see each other again. Mikasa and Levi weren't too impressed with me today. I was always checking my phone and waiting for your messages. I couldn't help myself. You should be more careful. You don't want to get in trouble because of me. You're right, but I can't help it. You make me so happy. 
And I just want to be with you all the time. I feel the same way. We'll just have to be more careful, for both of our sakes. Aaron, can I talk to you for a moment? Of course. What's on your mind? I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, and I realized something. I've always had feelings for you. More than just friendship. I never realized it until I saw you with Mizuki. M Mikasa, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm with Mizuki now, and I care about her deeply. I understand. I just had to let you know how I felt. I don't want to hurt you. You're so important to me, and I value our friendship, but I can't deny my feelings for Mizuki. I know. I won't let my feelings get in the way of our friendship or our mission with the squad. We have a job to do, and I won't let my emotions interfere. Thank you. I appreciate your understanding. And I'm glad we can still be friends. What's wrong? I just talked to Aaron. I told him about my feelings for him. And how did that go? He turned me down. He said he's with Mizuki now and he cares about her deeply. I tried to kiss him, but he wouldn't let me. You need to respect their relationship. But I don't want to ruin their relationship. I'm not the type of girl to steal boyfriends. You're right. As much as it hurts, it's not fair to either of them if you try to interfere. I know, Levi. I just need some time to process all of this and move on. Take all the time you need and we'll support you through this. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mikasa, we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Meet back here in 15 minutes. All right, Aaron. Be careful. <laughs> I know you're in here, girl. There's no use hiding. Found you. Please don't shoot. I have a family. <laughs> I don't care. Say your goodbyes, girl. <laughs> Shouldn't have touched her. Aaron, thank you. You're welcome. I'm just glad I got here in time. I'm hurt. We need to get out of here. Let's go. We'll get you patched up and find the others. How's the pain, Mikasa? Feels like my head is about to explode, but it's bearable thanks to you. I'm just glad you're okay. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. I need to tell you something. When I saw you with Mizuki, it made me realize that I love you. I've always loved you. Mikasa, I, I love you too, but I'm with Mizuki. I don't want to hurt her. I understand. But after what happened tonight, I couldn't keep my feelings hidden any longer. We need to figure out what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I can't deny what I feel for you. You're not bad at this, but I won't let you win. We'll see about that. I won't go easy on you. It's so beautiful here. I wish we could stay like this forever. Me too. I never thought I'd find such peace in a world like ours. Promise me that we'll always have moments like this. I promise. We'll find our way back to each other. Hey, you seem pretty upset. What's going on? I've got myself into a real mess. I'm in a love triangle with two incredible women, Mizuki and Mikasa, and I don't know what to do. 
I never thought you'd get yourself into a situation like this. You can't keep dating both of them. It's not fair to either of them or you. I know. But it's so hard to choose. I care for them both so much. Well, tell me what you like about Mizuki. And then tell me what you like about Mikasa. Mizuki's fun and adventurous and always up for challenge. She pushes me to be my best and helps me forget about the darkness in our world. And Mikasa? Mikasa's always been there for me. She's strong and loyal and protective. We've been through so much together. I feel like I can be myself around her. It's clear that they're both very different, and it's a tough decision. But you need to make a choice soon, before anyone gets hurt. You're right. I need to figure this out and make a choice. I can't keep hurting them. Erin, it's me. Can we talk? Yeah, come in. I had a great time with you at the arcade today. I really enjoy spending time with you. Me too. It was a lot of fun. Aaron, do you have a minute? Uh, of course I do. I just wanted to thank you for the amazing day at the beach. I enjoyed it too. Hey Mizuki, how are you? How are things going with you and Aaron? Oh, I'm doing great. I can't stop thinking about Aaron. I've never felt this way before. You know, I have to be honest with you. I'm a little worried about you and Aaron. What do you mean? Why would you say that? Well, Aaron did steal you away from Thunder. I'm not sure if I trust him. He might just be playing games with you. That's not fair. Aaron cares about me, and I care about him. You don't know him like I do. You're right. I don't know him like you do. But I'm just looking out for you. I don't want to see you get hurt. I appreciate your concern. I'll keep that in mind. like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. What's going on? <sighs> I've been trying to juggle my feelings for both Mikasa and Mizuki, and it's tearing me apart. I can't keep lying to them, but I don't know who to choose. Think about your future and who you truly see yourself with. Trust your heart. You're right. I need to make a choice. I need to be honest with both of them and myself. Mizuki, Mikasa, I need to talk to both of you. I've been lying to you, and I'm sorry. I have feelings for both of you, but I can't keep doing this. I need to make a choice. I had no idea you were feeling this way. I'm hurt, but I understand you need to make a decision. I know it's hard, but you have to choose. I choose... This farm is the key. It's connected to Renzo's gang. And if I bring it down, I'll be one step closer to avenging my mother. I've come so far, but I can't back down now. This farm will fall, and everyone connected to it will pay. I'll make them all pay, one by one. No one will escape my vengeance. farm's owner must be inside. They'll get what they deserve for the involvement in my mother's death.
Where is Renzo? Tell me everything you know about his gang and their operations. We, we don't know anything about any gang, sir. We're just civil farmers trying to make a living. I don't believe you. This farm's connected to Renzo's gang, and I want answers. Please, we're telling the truth. We have no connection to any gang. We just want to live in peace. Lies! I won't be fooled! Did what I had to do. They were connected to Renzo's gang, right? They have to pay for what they've done. But what if they were telling the truth? What if they were innocent? No, I can't afford to second-guess myself. This is the path that I've chosen. I must see it through to the end. Alright, let's take a break. We've been training hard, and we deserve some rest. I agree. I'm starving. Finally, some lunch. I was starving. You're getting better at this game. You almost beat me this time. Almost. I'll get you next time, Mikasa. I think that's enough messing around. We're here to take down Ranzo's gang, not play games. Aaron, we've been training hard. Taking breaks and having some fun is important too. We can't be serious all the time. Levi is right. If we don't relax and recharge, we won't be at our best when it's time to face Renzo's gang. My mother was murdered by Renzo's gang. Every minute that we spend playing games is another minute that they're out there causing pain and destruction. We need to act now. We understand your pain but we can't let our emotions dictate our actions. We need to be smart and strategic. What should we do, Levi? Huh. We need to keep an eye on Aaron. His obsession with revenge could be dangerous, not just for him, but for all of us. Why don't they understand? They can't just pretend everything's fine. Renzo's gang is still out there. I can't let them slow me down even if it means doing it alone. They're just wasting time. Don't they understand what's at stake? Levi, do you think Aaron is okay? He didn't show up for practice. He's been so distant lately. I don't know, Mikasa. We need to find a way to reach him before he does something he can't come back from. I don't need them. I can do this on my own. If they won't take this seriously, I'll just have to finish this mission without them. I will not rest until I've avenged my mother. I'll destroy every last one of them. Tell me everything you know about Renzo and for the murder of my mother. Now! Please, I don't know anything, I swear! You're lying. Tell me where Renzo's gang is hiding. I swear I know nothing! Aaron, you need to slow down. You're pushing yourself too hard. We're worried about you, Aaron. Please, let us help you. You don't understand. I can't rely on you two anymore. I have to do this on my own. I will eradicate evil from this island, no matter the cost. I will complete this mission, even if I have to do it alone. Hey, Spider-Man, I need your help. What's up? You look pretty serious. What can I do for you? I've been tracking a carjacker who's in a warehouse in Slappy. 
He's connected to Renzo's gang. The same gang responsible for my mother's death. Yeah, I've had my fair share of encounters with bad guys. But you should know, nothing good can come from violence. I understand the risks, but I can't let these criminals go unpunished. Will you help me? All right, I'll help you. But we do this my way. We bring them to justice, not for revenge. Deal. Thank you, Spider-Man. Good. Now you're gonna face justice for your crimes. No, that's not enough. Aaron, wait! We can't just kill him. We have to let the authorities handle this. Aaron, what have you done? I did what had to be done. He was a part of the gang that killed my mother. He didn't deserve mercy. Thunder, we need to talk. What's going on, Spider-Man? It's about Aaron. I think he's going too far. What do you mean? I helped him track down a carjacker who was part of Renzo's gang. We caught him, but Aaron... Aaron killed him in cold blood. He did what? Yeah, I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. I thought he just wanted justice, but now I don't know what he wants. Uh, maybe there was a reason for it. Maybe he knew something about the carjacker that we don't. No, Thunder. There's no excuse for what he did. We're supposed to be heroes, not executioners. Uh, I know you're right. I just... I don't want to believe that Aaron has become this monster. Neither do I. But we can't ignore the facts. We need to do something before he goes too far and someone else gets hurt. Yeah, let's just try and be calm with him. But how? I'm not sure, but we have to try. I'll go talk to his friends, see if they can help. Levi, Mikasa. I need to talk to you about Aaron. What about him? It's not easy to say, but I believe he's going down a really dangerous path. What are you talking about? I recently helped him track down a member of Renzo's gang. But when we caught the guy, Aaron killed him. He was cold-blooded. No, that can't be true. Aaron would never do something like that. You must be mistaken, Spider-Man. Aaron wouldn't go against our code of honor like that. I wish I was, but I saw it with my own eyes. I'm worried about him, and I think you should be too. Even if what you're saying is true, there has to be a reason for it. Aaron wouldn't just snap like that. I understand that you want to believe in him, but we can't ignore what's happening. I don't know what to do, Spider-Man. Aaron is like family to us. We need to confront him, make him see reason, and bring him back from the edge. But how do we even begin? He's already pushed us away. We have to try. It's not too late to save him. Aaron, we need to talk about what you did at the warehouse. What's there to talk about? I dealt with a criminal. End of story. But you executed him, Aaron. That's not how we do things. You don't understand the bigger picture. I'm trying to rid the island of evil. But at what cost, Aaron? If you become just as ruthless as the people you're fighting against, then what's the point? Aaron, we can't stand by you if you continue down this dark path. Please, listen to reason. Aaron, please. Hey, 
Leave her alone. You're coming with me. Please, man. I was just trying to make some cash. You chose the wrong way to do it. I'll never do it again, I swear. That's right, you won't. You are gonna face justice for your crimes. All right, all right. Just take me to the cops. No, your kind of justice is different. Wait, what are you doing? Please, no! Ah! No, Aaron, what have you done? How could you? Is this what we've become? Are we no better than the monsters we're fighting? I don't know if I can do this anymore.